What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're about to get on some really big bass. We're at a special place. We just put the boat in the water. We're gonna have a good time today. It's really hot outside, but I think we're gonna make it work. Here with my man Clint. Um, Clint actually puts on a bunch of benefit tournaments around Savannah River every single year. And a really great guy. I wanted to say that, man. Uh, I appreciate everything. And um, I've known him for the last few years, and we fish a lot of tournaments on the river. And uh, we're finally getting the fish today. Yeah, first we time. talked about it for a long time, yeah. so it's good. But tell me a little bit about the benefit tournament. Yeah, so um, it's a, called the Big Bass Summer Open, and it happens the last Saturday of August every year, and it benefits people with cancer. Uh, this year is going to a family called the Green Family. Uh, Joel Green has been battling uh, pancreatic cancer for about four years, surprising. I mean, guys with pancreatic cancer, stage three is what he had originally, usually don't make it within a year. And he, this is his fourth year. So we did a benefit for him. The second tournament that I ever did was for Joel Green. And then the last three years, we, we picked people, different people. But going into this year, we decided that they were still having this big battle. So we wanted to be able to give back. The fishing community is a, is a huge family. And we just feel like it is a, it's another chance to, to give back to that family. Um, the tournament is a, it's $125 a boat, $25 per team goes to the family, $10 big fish, and that leaves, not, leaves $90 for payback. Um, this year we've had some great sponsors step up. One big sponsor is SRM. Uh, they have guaranteed a $4,000 payback to the winners. So this year is, is huge. Normally it's about a $2,500 to $3,000 payback just off of entry fees. Well, this year we're guaranteeing $4,000 to the team that wins. So, uh, it's, you know, kind of a big deal for us. Oakley has stepped up again this year like they always do. They, they have donated over $2,000 worth, of, uh, worth wow. of material, uh, like glasses and, and uh, shades and, and stickers and all kinds of different things. And Tracy McQuaid with, with Oakley Prism, she is sending that. We should be getting that within the, the first week of August. And, uh, you know, they're a big, huge, huge part. Blanchard equipment, uh, they give us money to be able to buy the t-shirts. And, and of course, you know, Noah helps out. This will be his third year helping out with, with different sponsorships. And, you know, it's just kind of a, a big deal. There's a lot of stuff going on at the ramp at Clio uh, Tuxa King Landing. Um, is where the tournament's held at. There's a lot of stuff going on at the ramp. We have a barbecue, we have a cornhole tournament going on while the anglers are out fishing. There's bouncy houses. There's all kinds of stuff for, for people to do, not just for the anglers. So it's something where everybody can come, hang out, and uh, enjoy some fellowship with each other and then hang around after the tournament. Uh, food's provided for on the water anglers. There'll be barbecue for sale at the, you know, at the, at the uh, all day starting at 11 o'clock. You can buy pl barbecue plates or hot dogs and hamburgers throughout the day. So kind of a big deal, and, and it's just something that, like I said, that we can we can give back and hopefully be able to raise some, raise some money to help this family. So if anybody wants to come out to the tournament and support everything, uh, we'll leave the links down below. You can reach out to this man, Clint Proudfoot. Um, like I said, it's going to be a fun event. I'll be there. Um, i got to be there this you year. you got to be there this year. got to be there. <laughs> so um, it'll be a lot of fun, but, man, we're going to go ahead and get to fishing. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. We're going to see if we can catch some big ones. So we're out of this lake right now. Pretty clear water. It's been raining the last few days. It's a little murky, but it's still pretty pretty dang clear. Yeah, we've been watching them since we've been been this morning. Just They're blowing up on they're top of the They're blowing up everywhere. So hopefully we'll be able to get some top water action and maybe something on these ridges that's out here. Who knows? Right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Make it happen. <laughs> All right, so we're retying real quick. You know, very important to retie. We, uh, if you guys seen some of the recent videos, we went out to this pond. That's some big fish in it. We had a great time filming a few videos out there, and they were munching this lipless crankbait. It's a little red eye shad by Striking. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of the lures or rods I use in the videos, I have discount links and codes down below. But yeah, they've been munching this color, so we're gonna tie it on right now. Clint's gonna start off with the top water. Cause they are boiling at the top. We've seen a few busts. Let's see what we can get today. Just gonna have to cover a lot of water, make a lot of cast, and we might have a magical day. I think wear you out if you're not used to it. And I used to Dude, it was so weird not fishing for like three weeks. It was the weirdest thing. Just 
trying to get. <laughs> yeah. You know what they would munch out here. God, I don't have one with me. I don't think I do. Is it underspin, like a little fish head? You see that? Oh, uh, yeah. I have some in my garage. I'm going to put some in my boat. Dude, they would munch that thing. That bait. Mm. Get some clear water out like this. Especially how this place lays out. Wasn't here. Huh? Wasn't here. Uh, yeah, you went there. Was, was that home? Yeah. We went to that lake in some lake in Louisiana. It was a nice little lake, but it was just tough. Uh, don't go fast. Yeah. Got um. I had a big one on, dude. God. I had a really big one on this jig, and he just got me hung in this pile. Yeah, I can see it shallows up a little bit right here. Yeah, it is. So you said this point, yeah. the one that goes out. I see so much bait up there flickering, you think? Yeah, Dude, there's so much bait. Yeah, there's a good bit of bait in here. It ain't like Lake Mare, though. God, that place. The place got so much bait, the fish don't want to bite. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, God, look at that boil. Of course, my brain. Oh, <laughs> nice. I barely missed. I get too excited. That was a big blow up. Dude, they got to come up for it. Just picked up old big boy topwater. You know, we threw it recently, caught some really good fish on it. And these fish are just coming up schooling right now. If you look on my graph, you got so much bait. Look at all that bait. You got a couple fish in it. You got another fish suspended right here in about 10 foot. You got some fish right here that were chewing up on that bait and you can tell they were going down. This is at the top of the water column too. This is about where you want them. You know, these fish have come up though. It's not too deep, very clear water. Well, these are these are some big fish. I've seen a lot of big blow ups too. So I think it's just gonna be a matter of time. You know, we're gonna we're gonna just hunker down and cover water. I haven't been out here before. This is kind of new to me. Clint's been out here a few times, but uh, we're just gonna kind of put our heads down and try to figure out a pattern. Really don't want to throw this football head around here, but since I got it on, oh, I got him! God, he slammed that guy on yeah. <laughs> well, that football head. I said, yeah, I don't need to be throwing that football head thump. <laughs> I use this one for all sure. Right? Hey, I'm sure they'll eat it. Dude, he hit it right there on the edge as it was falling, just. Hey, we know there's a fish in here. Yeah, you hit it. You hit it on the fall. This color though, in clear water, dude, this thing. That little summer curl. Yeah, you can see like, real clear, you can see the beds and all out here. They bed deep out here. They bed in seven foot water. Yeah. They just all put all that rain that they had. Clint, you can put your stuff in here. Oh. You got him. You got him? Go for it. <laughs> Dude, that is the craziest thing. needed a energy drink. I'm holding him for the Dude, your whole rod was two seconds. I, I would just, oh man, that's funny. Oh, that's awesome. What a way to get the first one, right? Dude, that's a good one too. <laughs> Gosh, he's got pretty colors on him. Dude, that's on braid. <laughs> Show it to Cody. Nice start. 
<laughs> about had your whole wow. rod go in the water. Gosh. I was about to yell, stop the trolling motor. <laughs> Y'all thought you were just hung up for a second there, but I then I was like, like, stop the trolling motor. <laughs> you try to hand it to me, I'm like, no, you're going to catch that thing. I ain't going to take it from you. Yep. Chattered on top. I'm gonna try it. I feel like they should either move and bait all this wind going up on this bank. I mean, they're sitting here chasing bait. There's so much bait. That's what I'm saying. They should eat this little thing right here. Get him. There you go. Nice. I'm holding him out there for you, folks. <laughs> Small one. A little fat god look at how stubby he is golly <laughs> you make him look bigger yeah, there you go, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's big god it's fat dude mm. those are fatty so we've been out here for a minute guys and these fish are just playing us right now there's so so much activity i mean the fish are just jumping everywhere eating bait fish bait fish running up on the side of the boat throwing a bunch of top waters can't get anything i just put on a thunder cricket a strike king a little white one because i just don't i don't know i think we can catch him on a bottom bait right now I and mean, he caught two you know he had his rod sitting down that one time and then just got that one you know, but I just have a feeling they're going to eat a moving bait. I mean, they're so active, it seems like. Just got to figure out what they want and get it in front of their face. Okay. Well, that's what we've been waiting for, brother. That's what we've been waiting for. Is that the time you're on a 5XD? You want to try to grab Yeah. Got three pounds. Hmm. Not one of them. I got him in his gill. That is a good one. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Got his gill all messed up. How he ate that crankbait. I wonder if that's for me or not. See where the hooks are? Look. It's like his gill's all messed up. See that? One of them might have, have, might have got him. Yeah. That's a good bass, though. I mean, that's not, I wouldn't say three, but it's a two number. It's a fat guy. Get her back in the water. She's bleeding a little bit. Sorry, baby. God, she is a football. Yeah. So guys, we uh, we've been out here. You know, Clint's been throwing around the bottom baits. I told Clint, I said, dude, what two casts before that? I said, Clint, I can't slow down. And uh, I tied on this 5XD by Strike King, just a little natural color. It's actually the same color as the trap we've been throwing. And what, five casts in? Five casts in a big bass. One thing I learned about crankbaits, guys, you come out here, bluebird skies to where you would think that they would want to eat a bottom bait. You know, all of a sudden they're not eating it that well. Something about a crankbait, what I've learned in the past, I don't know what it is about this thing, but if it goes in front of a bass's face, he's going to eat it. So we're going to keep on throwing this, and uh, I think we're going to catch some good ones on it. Wow. Big up back here. <laughs> there it is. That's a big one. That's a, oh my god. Oh, he ain't. Look at how he ate that thing. I can get him. You guys just try to catch him. Yeah. Hey, about to jerk the rod on my hands. A decent one. About the same size as the last one, I'd say a two and a half pounder. Look at that, a little healthy one. He hit it just like that one, sideways. He did. Yeah, he about jerked the rod out of my hand, dude. Old crankbait. Well, there we go. I got two on board now. We're getting somewhere. I just had to get to where these fish were. We were fishing kind of a little dry spot over there. Didn't really see much bait. Didn't really see much fish. And we, how many big <laughs> ones we see blow up over here? Oh my God. <laughs> they were everywhere. And I got this guy to munch it, but you guys aren't gonna believe. Cody ain't even gonna believe this. 
I want you to look at his lip. It's what broken. It? You want to know something crazy? What's that? So we were fishing this place in the last few videos and we were fishing there the other day and I caught this fish and his lip was the same way. It was a lot worse, but I had actually caught the same fish two months ago. Yeah. At the same point. I caught, yeah, and I caught the same fish. And then we just caught this guy and he's got a broken lip too. It's mm. crazy. That's a good two and a half pounder though. He's got a big tail. Yeah, look at his tail all beat up. Yeah. Interesting. Pretty bass. I will say all the ones we've caught are very healthy yeah. and, and they're nice fish. We're still hunting for those big ones, but man, that's a beautiful fish and you just gotta love being out here. It's a nice day. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. All right, we got a merch shout out. We got a, they're blowing up behind us. Who do we got? We got Adam. Adam, thank you so much for purchasing a Big Bass Energy hoodie and a Big Bass Energy white t-shirt. Thank you so much, everybody who supports the brand and goes and buys merch online. I really appreciate it. If you guys wanna check out any of the merch, link is down below, kickingtheirbass.com. Thank you so much. Like my mentor on the freaking river, he swore by it for years, and then I switched back. Never looked back. Oh. Come on, dude. Freaking giant. How long did I say this? How old is this line? What did I just say? Eight months old? Let me just snap them off real quick on my brand new dang jig. Clean break, too. He ate it, though. He had it right there. Showing it might rain in the next 30. Yeah. We'll just kind of fan cast around and, I guess, work our way back that way. Work our way to the boat. What's that? I said we can work our way up to the boat. I got yeah. it. I left my window down. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I can do it. That is perfectly fine with me. I got him. Got him He's a monster. Oh, Holy oh, cow. Dude. Hey, I need the net on this one, brother. I, it might be, uh, I saw the side of him and he looks like he's about eight pounds. Oh, he's coming up. Woo. Yeah, he's a mega dude. This is him. We're about to leave. What the heck? <laughs> he ain't as big as I thought, but he's, he's a good one. It's a little broken. Just hold your hand onto it. That's, mm, oh, yeah. that's four pounder. Close oh, yeah. to it. <laughs> that's the way to catch them right at, boy. Let's go, dude. We're just about to leave, guys. It looks like it's a big storm's coming in right now. And we were just about to go, and all of a sudden, Cody just saw some fish schooling up on his tree. I tossed my crankbait and catch it like a four pounder. So, hey, man, I guess not everything goes wrong, right? We were just talking about, we're like, man, I feel like everything's going wrong today, but. That's why you gotta keep fishing, keep a positive attitude, and it'll come yeah. to you. Yeah. He had that sucker. That's a good fish, though. That ain't a four pounder, but that's three and a half all day with how big his belly is. God, dog. Oh. It's a nice bass. Nice. Those ones we're looking for. Yeah. Good one. Good, right? They've been all fat today. I mean, every fish we've caught have been, has been just a tank. That's a moose right there. Get her back in the water. We're working our way back to the truck, so maybe we'll catch another one, but this storm's coming in quick. And that is a beautiful fish right there. Thank you, buddy. It's a meatball. So look, I hooked him and it felt like I was just on the tree. And then I saw his like body roll and he looked like he was about like over six. Yeah. It's like, dude, oh my gosh. 